What we're looking at here is a basic oval layout that's split into four isolated sections. Each of these sections are live all the time where the signal is, but these sections, the curves, are all isolated from each other and connected to two RL1 relay controllers. Each relay controller has got two relays in it, so each relay is controlling one section. They're connected then to these sensor signals. We've got four sensor signals controlling each of the four relays. And the way the sensor signals work are just like the real railway with block sections, where a, once a, a locomotive goes past them, they change to red, and they stay at red until the train clears the next section. Now in this way, we can actually control the movement of the trains. This OH shunter here is under continuous control. It's not got any ABC chips in it, uh, and it's under DCC and it's just continuously running. The other two locomotives have got ABC fitted DCC chips, which means that instead of coming to a sudden halt, they actually speed up gradually. So if we have a look now at the sequence, this OH shunter is about to go through this signal, which will go to red. And what that will do is control the signal behind it to say it's okay for this locomotive to go into the section behind and then slow down because it's coming up to a red light. The same thing has happened with this signal has said to the, the previous signal that this section is clear and the, the train can wait there. In this way, you only have to control one of your trains and another two trains could follow automatically but should never collide because they're not allowed to enter into the same section. Now obviously we've shown a lot of the wiring on top of the layout board, but on yours you'd hide much of this wiring underneath. But it's not that complicated wiring really. And it's four identical sections connected to two relay controllers with two ABC diode modules because we're using two ABC fitted trains. But you can just use normal trains without ABC. You can also do this for DC locomotives and trains, but again, they will come to a sudden halt. 